Welcome back for the Wednesday of October 3rd. How's everybody doing? Good to see everybody. Good morning. Great, great, great. Super tight, Tom, huh? Good, good. You know what's great? I wake up in the morning and I see you guys, I mean, every morning at 8 a.m. when we open up this room, Eastern time, obviously, for some of you that uh, live don't live in the area, uh, live in East Coast time. But it's just great to see you guys come in there early, early every morning. It's like, you know what? It's like you really come down and realize, man, I got to get in early. I got to get in early. And you know what? I would say almost half of you are already here in the morning. I know, granted, you know, when you look at uh, look at not every, everyone from around the world, and especially when you're in the Pacific, you know, it's like 5 a.m. But uh, listen, early birds get a worm, man. You know, actually, I'm sorry. I, I rephrased that. Early birds get the money. Early birds get the money. And you know what? A lot of you guys did really well on some of the stocks that we traded. And we'll talk a little bit about them, especially the PBR and uh, was it the N NVC, not that one. What was the other one that a few guys picked up pretty early this morning? Yeah, the MBEV was pretty cool. Um, some of you did really well on that one. And also, uh, yeah. And uh, what was the other one, too? There was one more. Uh, NVC is uh, the NV uh, CV and we're gonna check that one out but a lot of uh, a lot of good moves this morning already and a lot of you guys you know it's nice to start early in the morning and already be on a on a on a positive note so anyway let's get right into it before I get started guys I want to tell you guys and remind everyone about the cyber traders summit that is coming up in two weeks uh, this is we, we do this once a year and you know and it's a great great event you can see you know, people dancing, people eating, and obviously you could see the group. Uh, a lot of good stuff. You got a full syllabus of what we're going to be learning. We're going to be doing live trading for two days, uh, working side by side together. And uh, you got a couple of great speakers that are going to be joining us. Uh, Josh is going to be doing a presentation. You're going to get you get to hang out with him and talk to him. I know some of you guys have schedule. We're going to have Andrew Keen. He's going to teach you a little bit about what I taught you guys. Uh, as in how to day trade and how to implement it into an option. You know, listen, I always tell everybody, a lot of people trade options for the wrong reasons. They think it's a poor man playing a rich man's game. And then we're going to have Chris Walker, uh, one of the head senior business developers from TradeStation. That's also going to be there. So we're going to have a lot of people, a lot of fun going on, and look forward to you guys to be there. I put the link in there for you guys to join. All right, so uh, with that said, um, I kind of X'd out of my platform. <laughs> oh, oh, let me... Uh, Bring that back up. Nobody can see my password, thank God. All right, let's just get that thing loaded up. But a lot of uh, a lot of stocks that are moving this morning. And we're going to check them out, and uh, here we go. And also a lot of good matrix moving with all those orders. All right. All right, we're going to start off with the NBEV. You can see this stock. We've done phenomenal with it. Every day it's a new story with this NBEV. But, um, you know, listen, she, she really didn't do that well that much yesterday. She got some nasty shakes, you know, going from that 660 to 860. You know, obviously, you know, that's not our forte, but it was a pretty easy higher high uh, right at the gate. She's trying to make a little bit of move this morning. But, guys, remember, this is... You know what? Let's just put it on the watch list. You know, we, we did well with it. Let's not chase it. There's always new blood every day to trade in the market. But I'm going to put it in there just for the purpose of she had some good volatility in pre-market. So I'm going to keep an eye on that. Um, yes, I did see that one also. I see already Benito and James are looking at the uh, MNGA. We're going to check out that one also. Uh, but let me just go down a couple of lists really quick. There's a couple of more on the watch list. The... Uh, VTVT, start off with that one. Great mover yesterday. You could see that one had a gorgeous pop, was right below a dollar. Thing went all the way to 240, was up over 100%. And even this morning, look at that, she's already up at $3. Stock took a huge hit, $8. By the way, this is why you don't hold overnight positions. This is what we teach you here at Cyber Trade University. You got to be a good day trader to know how to swing trade. And you know what? If you didn't see the writing on the wall every day as a day trade, you know how 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 um, horrible it is to be in a position and being a you know you held it to seven, you're down at four, and you're like, oh, I can't sell. I'm down fifty percent. You wake up the next morning, bam, the stock opens up at a dollar. 
and then the thing goes right back to three and you sold it. Listen, I dealt with a lot of that with, with Citigroup um, back in 2008. I know people that were crying. They're like, Faust, I own it at $37. Um, the stock is at $2. What do I do? So what do you end up doing? So many people end up selling it, not knowing they should have got out when it hit 20 back then. But that's another story later we'll talk about. We, 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 we have great war stories in class. But listen, stock is moving, v, uh, VTVT. You know what? Nice move. Might even fill in the gap right here. So we're going to keep an eye on that one. NVCN, another one right here I found this morning. Great little mover. I like this stock for one reason. This was a $70 stock in the beginning of the year. Talking about a catastrophe. Could you imagine waking up one morning and next thing you know, like, what the hell just happened? Once again, you want to be a good swing trader? You damn well better know how to day trade because you could have saw the writing on the wall when the stock just kept trickling down. Well, anyway... I like this stock for a few reasons. Number one, it's got a good Fausto flag in the pre-market. Um, stock took a huge major hit. It's making some good movement. It's up 28%, 400,000 shares. I'm putting this, you know, this, this stock, listen, it could be a good swing trade too. It could be a good swing trade. But as of right now, pre-market, it's been a great day trade. So the NVCN has been great. PTI, another one. You guys remember this stock. We traded this stock. Once again, another overnight position. You know, listen, we all know about overnights. I do a lesson on that. It's like so funny. Every single one of them, the past three, exactly the same. But PTI, you can see it got crushed. Uh, some of you remember we did trade this a couple of weeks, um, you know, back in the summer. Stock went from a dollar to three dollars. We know the stock can move. Um, be great. She could fill in this gap right here, but she's gapped up pretty nicely. 27,000 shares, 800,000. Put this on the watch list, guys. O G E N. Listen, whatever goes up must come down. Um, we've done really well with this stock too. Uh, but uh, now she's starting to take a hit. I'm just bringing it up to kind of tell you guys, this is in the archives. Forget about it, all right? I, and Ben is already talking about it uh, on the short. Yeah, I mean, listen, if, if it's on your short list, not, ever, not stocks like this usually on your short list. IGC, another one. I want to bring this up. It's been one of our great movers. We made a killing on this one as a day trade. $2 to 14 we, we, you know, we made a killing on it. Guess what? Why is it down? I don't know. What do you think? Short squeeze? AMD. Another stock. We've done really well on the swing trade on this one, but she's been fun on the day trade. Look, she's starting to pop right now. Stock is fun, but guys, remember, this is more of a brand name stock, so you got to be a little bit more by level three cyber traders to trade it, so be really cautious of trading this one. And then the MNGA. We're going to finish off with that one, unless some of you here or um, found something else. But another one got destroyed. Stock is moving pretty nicely. Cheap stock up 179% already. 12 million shares. You know, the only concern I have with stocks trading on a dollar, you can deal with fractions of a penny. So that's the only big thing. Spreads get pretty nasty on that. But over, other than that, stock just moved. You can see it just popped 20 cents in the last minute, which a lot of you already called out. Some of you guys already traded, but it looks great. All right, guys, so anything I'm missing I did not call out? I always like to say that um, before we go. We got one, two, three. We got about six, seven stocks, which is not bad for a Wednesday. Ben says uh, I'm going, it's going back to $2.50. Oh, my God, that would be great. Wouldn't that be awesome if that stock could do that? Hey, that's why we're here. Uh, I don't think so, Ken. I'm not looking at dryers, but thanks for sharing that with me. All right. Before I ban you from my room, I told you, please don't remind me of that stock. I was just having a good morning, and now you got to bring that up. God. Um, the, um, the, uh, the AZUL, you know, it's got good volume. The volume is okay, 23,000. She's up a little bit. I mean, we could put her on the watch list. She's getting some good volatility in it. I mean, I don't know. I don't like how it's been trading the last couple of days. I don't like the shakes, how the, that chart looks. But um, and she doesn't have that many, um, n not many orders out there on the matrix. So I probably pass on that. All right. All right, everybody. So uh, there's our watch list. And once again, I know a lot of you here are new and uh, started. And hopefully you guys have been enjoying it and watching and learning. Remember, like our buddy Ben, um, one of my loyal students in the room, look, listen, and learn, and you will learn. And that's what it's all about. Because remember, this is not for everybody. And I always say, that's okay. You know, but it should be, but it's not. And uh, I know you all want it to be, but you got to look and learn from it and see what's going on 
because uh, it is the greatest job in the world. And then don't forget, everybody, if you haven't done already, less than two weeks away, some of you just, um, the Cyber Trader Summit's coming up. So if you haven't registered so far, you know, two great days of trading, uh, great days of eating. Just uh, We always just recommend everybody, before you come, probably be on a strict diet for about a week um, because we do plump you up a little bit, all right? So have fun, everybody, and I'll see you back here at 2.30. All right. Happy trading, everybody.